All right, what I'm doing is I'm editing a new video. Uh, this one is uh, on the Plains Warrior and how I created it from, uh, well, from, let's go up back here uh, to... Uh, well, I'm going to show you a picture right now of what I'm thinking I'm doing. I'm going to first uh, get this all anchored down properly and uh, so it doesn't go moving around. I'm going to carve off the, the skull uh, here because... Well, this is the starting of it, and, and I sort of uh, settled on a uh, photograph I took of uh, Michael Terry, or Apache Warhorse, uh, back in 91, I think it was, 1991, uh, just uh, uh, old north, south of my house here uh, along the uh, Madison River. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm setting up the... Uh, armature. Uh, I'm measuring it like you can see there. And uh, and then what do I do? Oh, uh, yeah, I start the clay. Start adding the clay on. Let me go ahead and hit play. And I start adding the clay on. Now I have to speed through a lot of this because if I was to go normal speed, we'd be spending weeks watching this video. So rather than do that, uh, I... Uh, speed up the video. All right, I'm going to uh, fill these two cups with A and B mixture. Now here I'm making... Uh, i got this, fo uh, this foam... Uh, <coughs> uh, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, preparing taxidermy foam. Uh, I made a uh, reservoir to receive the, uh, the foam out of uh, three inch duct tape. And uh, now I'm just uh, waiting for it to uh, rise up and harden. And that only takes a couple of minutes. And that saves probably 20 pounds of clay. Marking the height to the bottom of the foot and just making sure that I get the height of this uh, foam even all the way around. Now that's where I'm... Uh, uh, you know, just marking the height of the uh, foam to the bottom of the feet. Um, I added uh, length to the armature, this true form armature, to uh, bring the feet up to the level of the uh, top of the uh, foam. Boy, I mean, I, I'm just an added note. I got to tell you, I'm, I really like the way this... Now, I mean, it really helped to have all this done. I... I'm talking about the true form armature, of course. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get... Okay. Whoop, wrong. Anyway, I'm going through the uh, video. This is uh, actually the, the whole first start of the video. And uh, about the first 10 minutes or so of the video that I'm putting together. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of videos up there that I've got to uh, apply. Now that that goes from uh, July 23rd, 2011 to uh, my last video, which was uh, the 29th of 2011. I think I actually did some work in the gallery uh, as well. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I know I'm not in a studio and uh, I apologize for that, but uh, I've been asked to do another DVD, and I'm doing it. <coughs> I'm just constructing the uh, shoulder blade, and this is going to be the last thing I do today because I've got to... Uh... Well, anyway, I'm going to cut out the excuse why I'm not working. This is going to be the last thing I do today because I've got to... Uh... Yeah, and I'm going to cut that out. All right, now I bring down another video. And uh, I'm going to set that up and edit that in. First, I'm going to save my project. This, by the way, is uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, the uh, Let's see if I can find where it's at. Sony Vegas Studio. This is uh, being edited on uh, Sony Vegas 
Studio HD Platinum 10. All right, that's what I'm doing, and it's going to be the rest of the weekend working on this and probably part of next week. So, as you can see, I've got all these videos, and uh, I'm cutting out uh, things that are unnecessary. I've already taken three days and reduced it down to uh, 19 minutes. All right, good night, everybody. Have a great day.